Welcome to Wander and Wonder, Manitoba's Interlake. My name is Melissa Van Solen, and I am the manager of the Interlake Tourism Association, and today I am your podcast host. Today we'll be speaking with Adam, Nathan, and Patrick, three young locals from Gimli, Manitoba. Hi, everyone. Hey, how's it going? Thank you for having us. Yeah. Hi, I'm Patrick. I'm 18. Hi, I'm uh, Nathan. I'm 18 years old. Hi, I'm Adam. I'm 16. Awesome. All right. So I just wanted to talk to you guys today because uh, Gimli is a pretty great place to visit, I say, all year long. Um, so I kind of wanted to get your take on that. What would you say is your favorite season and why? I love the summer just because of like the beaches and like the, the nice weather and like just like what the town has to bring. I mean, you got multiple festivals. Yeah, we're pretty blessed for summer. Our summers are pretty, pretty bright and beautiful. Yeah, I'd say so. Winter's pretty good too. We have a pretty nice ODR. So that is very true. The only, the only thing about the winter is that it gets kind of cold, but just a little bit. Yeah, yeah, just a little bit. Does anybody uh, do any ice fishing? Well, both me and Adam, we fish all, all year. As much as we can. Yeah. Tasting the fish wise, I feel like in the wintertime, it gives more of a fresh taste. Oh, yeah. Because of the water temperature. Mm hmm in may as well like when fishing is just like unbelievable it's really good the fish tastes just amazing but i'm, I'm actually i'm actually allergic to fish i'm an icelander and i'm allergic to fish yeah you are it's kind of it's kind of crazy but <laughs> hey, it's okay he's got special gloves <laughs> like physically if you touch them then you would be affected yeah oh wow <laughs> yeah. what is the most special thing about Gimli? Definitely the community. Yeah. Does everyone get along nicely? Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I personally think so. Like, every, like, I mean, we all might not get along the greatest, but I think everybody has, like, each other's backs. Yeah. For me, I think um, living out here, it's, it's almost like a sense of security. Like, you're able, you're able to, you know, walk around late at night. You're able to, and you feel safe when doing so. Oh, yeah. Like, I mean, you can go for bike rides in the summer at two in the morning and you'll like honestly run into the people that you know. And you're like, oh, <laughs> hey there, how are you? Would you say there's a lot of obviously interconnected families? Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. That makes a big difference too, eh? Exactly. Yeah. Well, I'm probably related to at least half the town. Like, <laughs> well, me and you are related in some way and we didn't figure that out until way later in life. I know. <laughs> Why do you think people like visiting Gimli? It, it feels like you're living in a resort, especially in the summer, like especially in the summer. It, it's so it's so beautiful. It's a very tourist centered town and it, and it works well. Gim Gimli offers the beaches and the hotel and, uh, and the restaurants, the restaurants, all the restaurants are so good. Which ones? Well, personally, my favorite is uh, Brennan's. Yeah, everybody, everybody in Gimli calls Brennan's Brent. Brent, okay. So if I go, if I go, I can go use the slang. Yeah. Exactly. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. I also like Brennan's, but I also will not turn down a fat boy from Beach Boy. Beach Boy. Oh, yeah, that too. Beach Boy is great too. I mean, if you're looking for portion size, there's a place in Gimli called Europa, and if it's more than I don't know what six people then you can order a medium. But if it's like five people, you have to order a small size. Oh my goodness. I have not eaten there yet. Oh, it's huge. It's massive. And then they rubber band it shut to make sure that nothing comes out. To make sure it closes, yeah. <laughs> and um, Chris Fish and Chip. Chris's is good. That's a really good place too. So if somebody your age was coming to visit, what would the ideal day be? be like in Gimli Ooh. in the morning you have to go for breakfast at the oldie yes it's a it's a Gimli classic it's an older restaurant and they just give you good old-fashioned greasy farmer's breakfast it's great it's not very expensive and it'll it's usually like three eggs a bunch of sausages bacon big pile of hash browns toast 
or freshly squeezed orange juice. It's just, it's perfect in the morning. Then after the oldie, then you take a walk down to the Viking statue because the Viking statue is definitely. It's like our mascot. Yeah, it is. Exactly. And then after you go um, to the Viking statue, there's a park and you walk through the park and you go straight to the boardwalk and you take a walk down the boardwalk to look at the scenery on the beach. Well, on the beach, you can actually, you can rent jet skis here at the beach. And so you can like rent like different tubes and stuff. Vikings rentals. It's good. After that, like grab some lunch, eat boys, maybe grab some lunch. Yeah. What about nightlife? Well, we've got a couple bars. Well, there's a, there's a new one coming to town, the Interlake Brewing Company. There is. Yeah. It's going to have a rooftop patio and wow. they also have non-alcoholic beer for the younger people. It's funny. I, I didn't even, I didn't even know that. It's in the old Whitecaps building there. Oh, right. Nice. Mm-hmm. Yeah. I'm looking forward to it. Well, I appreciate you all being here with me and talking about your amazing town of Gimli, Manitoba. And uh, yeah. It was awesome. Thanks for having us. Thank you. Yeah. Take care.